Uh, we played defensively, uh, tackled well, uh, thought our defensive line dominated the football game. Uh, we're pretty good on third downs and, and uh, obviously created another turnover. Uh, special teams are really solid besides the one play. I thought Matt Wright did a really good job uh, pinning the ball on, on, on kickoff, uh, something that was uh, an issue a week ago. And then offensively, thought we did a really good job uh, of adjusting in the run game. Uh, they made it tough, won a bunch of one-on-one -on -one situations. Uh, KZ played really, really well, was locked into to what we were doing, and escaped uh, sometimes when the pocket broke down and made some plays out in space as well. Is this the type of tough physical game you expected? Absolutely. Uh, they're big, thick physical on, on both sides of the line of scrimmage. Uh, from them defensively, I uh, know that they're going to you know, make it tough to, to run the football. Uh, you got to win some one-on-ones on the outside. Got to be one to stretch the field vertically. We did that. Hit some shots, missed a couple too. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, like that. And, and then certainly on the offense side of the ball, I thought we handled uh, the physicality, the run game really well. And we did a really good job on the play-action boot stuff as well. Coach, what's it mean for your resume to be the power five team like that? Uh, I, I, we're one and all this week. Um, you know. That, the outsiders are going to judge it as they may. Um, you know, we, I, and, and our football team uh, really do focus on, on the daily uh, task at hand. We focus on one week at a time. I'm really proud. I told them uh, in the locker room, they're continuing to grow together. And, you know, this is our first year together, um, but they're continuing to buy into what we're doing. Uh, we're being more detailed in, in how we prepare. That's allowing us to play better in all three phases out there. Uh, that's a football team, you know, that is from one of those other conferences, and uh, we certainly handled our, our business today. Coach, the trademark of this offense is obviously its speed, and the number of times people went down with cramps. Is that something that could possibly disrupt the flow or cause a problem? Oh, uh, that's one way to try to defend it, you know, I guess. It didn't work well today. <laughs> Their game plan was going to be running the ball. You guys held them to minimal yardage for that last drive for the most part. Yeah, uh, again, our, our one defense played lights out. Uh, you know, I'm just, you know, 33 rushes for 109 yards. You know, we uh, we held and, and dominated the line of scrimmage, you know, and, and uh, that was a, a test for them going into it. That was the challenge, and, and our guys answered that challenge. Coach, it does seem like that's an intentional way of trying to slow down your offense. Is that how you see it? Yeah, I mean, you guys all watch the game, right? Yeah. Um, we didn't see Dredrick Snelson. Can you give us an update on him and maybe why we didn't see him today? Uh, Snelson, uh, he uh, tweeted something in the, in the ball game last week, and, and uh, uh, so for that reason, uh, he didn't practice a bunch this week. He'll be healthy for next week, ready to go. Josh, this has always been a versatile group, but when you look offensively, when you have a guy like Adrian Killens leading the way, receiving Mackenzie Milton rushing in another two rushing touchdowns, can you just speak to how versatile this offense is and where do you think you can take that from a we're versatile because we've got a lot of dynamic playmakers in skill spots, whether it's tight ends. Uh, you know, Heskite didn't have a bunch of catches today, but he did play really, really well uh, and has the ability to catch the football. Um, but the guys out wide uh, can make plays. Uh, you look at your slot receiver, Snelson's out. Uh, you know, the other guys step up. Uh, Orris has a, has a really nice day. Marlon played well. And, um, um, you know, in our backfield is, is versatile and deep. And, uh, you know, you saw at the end, you know, Greg and, and Ben Tavis get a bunch of runs, and they did a fantastic job of playing with great pad level, pressing the hole, uh, reading it, and, and uh, picking up yards. Can you talk about just how special Adrian Killens is when you can get him the ball in the open field like that? <laughs> AK, AK is a dynamic playmaker. Uh, whether it's kick return, you know, I mean, if he's a punt returner, if, you know, he's a running back, um, whether he's a, a wide receiver, uh, he can play, he's versatile. He can do about anything you ask him to do, and, and uh, he's electric when he's got the ball in his hands in space. Does Richie Grant sort of have that knack for like being like the ultimate ball hawk there, it's his third pick of the year? Um, yeah, well, hopefully he continues that trend. So uh, he, he does a good job. Um, there's pressure on the quarterback. You know, he's throwing back across his body. Richie, I think, you know, pattern reads it and is able to cut it from uh, from deep single safety spot. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's uh, he's as mature. Uh, of a player on the second or third level that we have, you know, just in our secondary. Uh, he's becoming a great team leader. Uh, he works extremely hard every day and he prepares in a great way. That lends itself to being in the right position at the right time. So I've given three sacks, I think you yeah, guess four sacks in the, for, the for the entire year coming in and you had three <coughs> sacks today. Can you talk about the pressure you guys were able to create? I, I do. Uh, again, we got him in some third and long situations as well. And that happens because of first and second down defense. Uh, and uh, and I thought our guys just attacked and played on edges and played on the other side of the line and scrimmage all day long. 
Coach, you created the game plan this week. 31 first downs and 79 total plays. Is that what you envisioned when you put this whole plan together this week? And, you know, college football, you guys see scores every week, and, and it varies. You know what I mean? There's such a fine line between success and failure. Uh, at the end of the day, we want to go 1-0. and We want to be plus one on the scoreboard, however that might happen. Uh, but we do want our kids dialed into the details of, of our prep. They adjusted really well today uh, when we had to adjust from what our base game plan was going into it, in particular the run game. And uh, I thought our guys, um, you know, prepared in a great way, and that lends itself to, to playing the way we did. Is there anything you can do to keep teams from trying to slow down your offense like they do? Can you, do you complain to the officials during the course of the I, I'm, I'm not even worried about that right now. I mean, shoot. Yeah. We'll uh, go get ready for the next one. A couple more here. Anything? It was a hot day, but it was a sold out crowd. What did you think of the atmosphere? The uh, atmosphere was really good. Uh, student body was probably a little smarter. They showed up right before kickoff instead of being out there an hour beforehand. But, uh, <laughs> uh, they probably were having some fun tailgating as well in the mall area. So, uh, great atmosphere. It's been electric uh, every time we've walked into that stadium. Our players uh, appreciate uh, what our fans are, are buying into and the energy that they create. And, and we're really thankful that. Uh, this city is taking ownership of this team and, and liking the product that they see and hope we continue to see that as we go through the season. Coach, you've been in quote unquote power five leagues. How does this team compare talent wise with the, the, this league? I, I don't, this league, you watch it week in and week out. They win football games against power, other power six teams. It's, it's not made up, you know. A bunch of these teams were in power six leagues before, you know, the the change in, in college football a few years ago. Um, this is really good football. I thought that when I was on the outside. I think it when I'm on the inside, you better line up and come to play every single week in this league. Coach, you can tell the guys that are going to be in the field. Like, I mean, this almost felt like a standard win for them. Is this what we're when you say standard win? I mean, like, this was expected. This is what you asked them to do. They fulfilled the job, and they're not getting, you know, not to and coach speak here, not too, too high or too low. Yeah, I mean, you might hear coach speak once in a while, right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's the problem. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you could feel that this was just taking care of business from their aspect. What was your message to them afterwards? The thing I appreciate about our players is they are continuing to buy into to the way to prepare and the way to go play. Uh, I've said this since I've gotten here and went out for spring ball. When you throw the ball out there, they love competing and playing. Uh, we have a, a loose, relaxed, energetic atmosphere. Uh, if you're in our hotel lobby on Friday night, guys are having fun when they're at dinner, same on Saturday. Uh, but when we get into our pregame motivational, they're focused and they're ready to go handle their business. Um, and, uh, you know, week from week, you might be a little bit different emotionally, uh, but the way you prepare and the way you compete can never be different. We talk about our guys being consistent in the way that we uh, we compete, consistent competitors, and they are that. They love watch while uh, walking out and, and playing ball, and, and uh, so it was a little bit business-like from them today. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, we have great expectations, and we want to go play it one play at a time. All right, last one here. Coach, is as good as your defense has played this year. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, front front four, um, playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage, linebackers keyed in to all the different formations, motions. Um, you know. Tight ends coming backside, you know, for split zone, and then boots out the backside. Uh, I thought we handled all the variables really well. That comes from great eye discipline, being dialed into the call, uh, the multiple calls that you're going to see versus each formation, and, and really starting to grasp what we're trying to do on that side of the ball. They played fantastic. All right, coach. Thank you.